What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jim and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys 4 methods to reduce your ping in Fortnite. I've tested these methods myself so I know they actually work and hopefully they'll work for you as well. So to start off, ping is basically how quick information and data is being sent to the Fortnite servers and they're being sent back to your Wi-Fi. So the closer you are to the Fortnite servers, the better your ping is going to be and the further you are from the Fortnite servers, the worse your ping is going to be. However, these four tips are actually going to reduce your ping no matter how close or far you are from the Fortnite servers. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your Windows settings and type in notifications. And when you do that, you will have notifications and action settings. Open up that and from here, your notifications tab will be right here. If you have it turned on, that's perfectly fine. But you want to make sure you uncheck all of these options and then turn it off. This means that notifications from Google Chrome, Discord, PowerPoint and all of these other apps will be turned off so that when you're playing your Fortnite game, you won't be receiving random notifications which will reduce your ping. Now the next thing you want to do is based completely around your Wi-Fi and your network. So you want to head over to your Windows settings and you want to scroll down to Network and Internet. From here, head over to Advanced Network Settings and then click onto whichever one you're using. Me personally, I'm using Ethernet so I'm going to click onto that. If you're using Wi-Fi, then click your Wi-Fi. After you've done that, go into more adapter options and click edit. Once you click on to edit, you want to go to client for more Microsoft networks and click configure. Over here, you've got all of these other options. You want to head over to advanced and you basically want to follow the same settings that I want to be showing you right now. You want to go to ARP offload and you want to disable that. Flow control, disabled. IPv4 checksum offload, disabled. Jumbo frame, disabled. Large send offload version 2 for IPv4, you want to disable that. And for IV6, you want to disable that as well. For NS offload, you want to disable that. For TCP checksum offload IPv4 and IPv6, you want to disable both of them. And for UDP checksum offload IPv4 and IPv6, you want to do the same and disable that. You want to head over to speed and duplex. And normally everyone would go ahead and change it to the lowest possible setting. So they will go to 1.0 gigabytes per second. You don't want to do that because that will actually affect your infinite and your Wi-Fi. You want to head over and click on to auto negotiation so that you can pick the best sort of speed every single time, every millisecond. Shut down wake on LAN, you want to disable that. Once you've done that, you want to head over to power management and ensure that all of these options are unchecked. So if you have any of them checked, that's fine. Check all of them and one by one from the bottom, uncheck every single one. Now this will basically stop your Ethernet from, and Wi-Fi from shutting down to save power. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go over to Windows and you want to head over to Settings. From here, you want to go to Apps and after you click Apps, you want to go on to Startup. Now what this means is every time you start up your PC and turn the power on, all of these apps will automatically load up, which means while you're playing Fortnite, you actually have a whole bunch of apps and stuff running in the background. If I show you guys, I've loaded up my PC and I've got all of these other options in the background. So I've got my OBS Studio running in the background, which I'm currently using for recording. I've got my Epic Games Launcher. I've got the NVIDIA Control Panel GeForce Experience and I've got the Xbox app. Now the Xbox app, I don't use. So I can right click on this and click quit. Now when I'm playing Fortnite, I won't get any notifications, I won't get any updates, nothing from that app. What you can do is when you're on the startup menu, you can actually turn off all of these options, whichever ones you want, and it will automatically just stop all of these apps from turning on and affecting your ping and occasionally your FPS as well. The final method to reducing your ping is going over to the Windows search bar and typing in Task Manager. And from here, you wanna open this up and you can basically see all the apps that are using up your CPU and and basically your ping. From here you can see the CPU which stands for computer power usage and that's basically all the apps that are using up your computer's storage and power. Over here you've got memory which is actual the physical memory, the storage. You've got disk and then network is the main one and that's basically all the apps that are using your ethernet and your wi-fi. So if I load up Fortnite that percentage will actually increase because Fortnite will be using some of my network. Now as I showed you guys before I turned off my Xbox game bar however I've still got Xbox game bar widgets running in the background and if I click onto this little icon over here it tells me that the xbox game bar widgets is actually stopping other processes from working to increase performance now although it's doing that and it might sound good that means it's having an impact on my fortnite game and it might be reducing some of the settings and causing a whole bunch of lag within fortnite 
just so that my overall PC is working better. So straight ahead, I just wanna remove this. So I'm gonna right click on this and click end task. Now that will stop the Xbox game bar widgets from having any sort of impact on my Fortnite. I've also got WhatsApp running here in the background, which is also doing the same thing. And I can go ahead and automatically just click that and click end task. So that is it for this video guys. If you learned anything, please leave a like and comment down below. And check out the other videos in the description to reduce your ping and increase your FPS. I'll see you guys in the next one.